Provided that this is still on the air, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Hoenn in HD here on the Heavy Bass Channel. Last time we went through a journey with Mud- we went- we had a walk up with Mudkip. And then this ass- we can't go this way because this asshole is think- is trying to find some Pokemon prints. Oh boy, wait till he finds out. Anyway, Oldale Town is just the same as I remember it when I was younger. Although, minus the fact that we got like 10 potions instantaneously through that. Yeah, that's a bit of an interesting bit of a comparison. One potion in the original, 10 potions here. I guess they didn't want to. Here's the interesting thing about Gen 6. They, just, they started a good project, and then next gen they abandoned the entire- they weakened it, and then gen 8 they just abandoned the whole thing. It's stupid. It really is just stupid. Anyway, Cook says they're out of Pokeballs, which is true. Until you do this certain bit, or re rather you meet up with May, you aren't going to be able to buy Pokeballs entirely at all. Which is true. Mudkip is still going to be our only Pokemon here. That's more sleepy because Mudkip is probably going to be the best Pokemon type. Now, you probably may to yourself, why did I, why did I pick Mudkip? Because May has always been associated with Torchic, and Brendan has always been associated with Mudkip. Until the until the trailer of this game came down, when basically Brendan was given a Trico here as his starter, whilst May gave Mudkip. And Torchic, which is a bit weird. I guess they couldn't because they couldn't decide to have, you know two and all that. But uh, more or less, we are now caught up with May, and basically we are going to have ourselves a rival battle. Quick battle. Give you a taste of what trainers we really like. Can I just say this game may get they may go on a 7.8 from IGN because it's too stupid. It's been a meme ever since. But they perfectly got the rival music down to a T. I'm, I'm not kidding. It is the best revival period. It is just brilliant. Anyway, if you chose a if you chose a Pokemon, the rival will always choose a stronger type. This applies to Brendan as well. If you if you chose May as your character, Brendan speaks clearly and doesn't sound like a over enthusiastic idiot. May is just basically adorable. She was like the first problem being a protagonist that's not named Chris. Or Crystal. Speaking of which, um, probably tomorrow, maybe some announcements at the time recording, a new Pokemon Let's Go Johto may be announced. That will be very, very interesting anyway. May restores your Pokemon, and basically that is basically the big friendly Pokemon that we need. But, they're gonna head back to the lab now. That's the whole point of being here in the first place. It's a quick run up, seriously. From this opening bit of the game, from the when they made, when they made the original, it was so quick to get from, not, not only from, from the, from Little Root Town to Old Dale Town to where May was in Route 103, we can't go anywhere near that. And from Route 101, which is basically where your opening is, um, not much is here, but if you go back to Little Root Town, go back to Professor Elms, like so, over here, Brendan, and then Professor Elm will talk to you. And then basically he mentions, oh, so you hear you beat me on, on your first try, and he's, he was really helping her. So, you are a complete successor. In my honest opinion, Brendan is a more complete trainer, a, a lot better. He comes from the land of Johto. That that's that's the law that was given to this game that you're that you come from Johto and I listen, and I love the fact that Johto in the anime May's character comes from Johto, so that was a bit of a fun thing to to cycle back through and she gives you Pokeballs as well, how awesome! Um, I believe she gives you five, that's to my recollection. So she'll now go ahead and do some catching tutorial. I'm going to do a kid catching tutorial momentarily because you know how quick this game basically gets through it. You may have noticed how quick the videos are. Can't blame me. People tend to have a very short... People these days have a very small attention span. So anything less than 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes is the ideal bloody setting. Anyway, after catching Pokemon? Yes, I am going to catch some Pokemon. 
we're not gonna come back to this place again for a long, long time. If we talk to Mrs. Birch, for instance, May's mother, Pokemon the kids stop by home to home. So that's basically what we have to do. We haven't been home yet. And the one thing she your mother stops you in the original more or less was basically she only stopped you because you didn't get your hands on them. Running shoes, which this game gives you automatically, which is interesting. I'm kind of curious. Have they ditched that conversation? Going up, Brent. Oh, they haven't. Oh, they specifically saved it as a cutscene. Did you choose book? Yes, of course. Have you not seen the last two episodes? Provided it has been provided it has been cancelled by culture by now. You, 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 you jest, of course, but then again, people are just being completely rude. Oh, the end times that we're living in. Anyway, now we have means of actually leaving the town, and we can go ahead and start to catch. We haven't had a catch tutorial yet, and there are some Pokemon to catch, which is true. So, hope you enjoyed the first few parts. It's been real fun me doing this again. I will say this though, it's some really good music, more or less, that you probably be hearing in the background, but uh, more, this is basically, if you was able to tolerate all that, the congratulations, because the um, seriousness starts to kick in. So next time on Pokemon, uh, uh, or Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, we're going to do the catching tutorial and catch some Pokemon, because that's what you've all been waiting for. See you guys next time, bye for now.